Right, what is going on guys? Welcome to episode number 12 of my son and the Glory Cream on FIFA 19. Now guys, this is the penultimate episode for season 1. We've got three games in the April, the first three games in April where we really need to get some points here guys because if you guys look at the promotion race, I mean, I mean like I think promotion, I think, you know, I think by the end of this, by the end, by the end of this episode, should we just go out, we could actually be promoted by the end of this episode. But guys, I mean, look at the title race. Us and Oxford Knight, they're literally neck and neck. Well, not, well, not literally, but... As you know, there's a point gap. But I'm, I mean, I'm looking at that goal difference now, and we've... I'm, 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 I think, I'm, yeah, we'll have a 10 advantage. So we've got 20 plus 25, we'll have plus 15. Quick maths. Um, so yeah, so our goal difference is looking quite good. Yeah, plus 25 goal difference, so obviously it's a bigger margin. So, if, you know, just in case we do tend to pick up a couple of draws. Um... Then you won't be in the world. And by the way, guys, in this episode we have got Rochdale away, at Coventry at home, and then Doncaster at home. And then obviously next episode we've got the big free Peterborough away, Portsmouth at home, and then South End away. I mean, like guys, in real life, I mean, like in real life, if should should the, should the league continue to say this way, I mean, like these two games against Peterborough and Portsmouth, they could be absolutely massive in real life. I also, guys, one one other thing I'll show you is, I mean, like you might see like glimpses of them in my um. In the highlights, but yeah, yeah, guys, yeah, you guys haven't really seen my youth, like, like, like my youth players who I've actually brought into my team, like, obviously from my youth academy. So I'll quickly show you them. And you already know who Brandon Mason is. Obviously, he was playing a couple of games here because he was part of the objectives. But we've got this goalkeeper here called Morris, pretty decent goalkeeper, 62 rated, 16 years old. Obviously, been training here and a couple others. Decent enough starting in position could be a bit better. Obviously, he's still quite young. We've got Shaw, I think it's Elliot Shaw. I mean, again, the result. That's right. I'm sorry. Um, no, no, it's. Mental and physical stats aren't well. Actually, not, actually not, actually not that bad. I mean, he's quite quick, but he seems like relative, relatively fast. Skills, I'm not too bothered. You know, since he is only a right back, his tackling needs to improve. So turn that one's decent enough. Injury prone, not good. But he's got pie that behind the defensive, so you know should be all right. And um, Tangang, obviously, I brought in. We got right. I think it's called Hugh. Pretty decent free saw. He free saw skills. You, know, you can play centre midfield, midfield as well. Again, quite quick, 76, sprint speed, obviously that can go up. And the dribbling, the dribbling, obviously on a proven 68, it's not bad, I suppose. And um, over there, uh, I've got a couple of guys in the youth academy, I'm going to show you guys, which I'll quickly do now, I think it's only two, but guys, these two, these these guys are the future for this. I mean, obviously, the, obviously this career mode is going to be in big career mode. But, I mean, look at these, well, first of all, Owen Morgan, 15 year old goalkeeper, 59 year overall, look at, poten look, look at potential. Between 86 and 92, that was unbelievable. But this next guy, you, you, you may have already seen Sam Alcander. Look at that. 89 and 94 potential. He could be on course to be England's, one of England's best strikers. Only 50 year overall already at 15, which is insane. And I think that hopefully maybe get him involved at some point in this career mode. That will be my main goal. But anyway, guys, enough of that. Done, but we've already done all that crap. I've wasted enough time already. Let's get in the first game of the episode. Son of April away at Rochdale. I mean, obviously this game doesn't mean much right now. But I mean, at the coming at the end at the end of the season, it could mean quite a bit. Um. So yeah, I'm hoping that we can just that, that we'll, that we'll just uh, get a, right, guys. Here we go. I want. I mean, like I said this in the last episode. This happens so much. Also, why do Rochdale have red? So, you know, they've got some blue seats. I don't, I don't know what's EA doing with this with the pans. But guys, we've got a horrible away day in Manchester against Rochdale. Well, Greater Manchester because Rochdale technically aren't in Manchester. Because it, because it, it doesn't matter. No one really cares. So, anyway, guys, away at Rochdale, let's go. Anyway, guys, that is half time. We are trying to draw 0 nil. So many waste opportunities. Other games I'm looking really at Scunthorpe at the minute. Scunthorpe are currently drawing at, Shrew at Shrewsby. Oxford United aren't playing. I found that that week is quite a lot that Oxford United just aren't playing when we are. I don't know about that. That guy's, that guy's full time, guys. Nothing to report from that game. Boring 0 0 draw. Not good, guys. Not good at all. See, disgraceful. So many missed opportunities. Look, look at nine shots for the Absolutely disgraceful. Anyway, guys, move on. Next game, we've got Coventry at home. Need must. 
Right guys, I found out the reason for why Oxford United didn't play in that no, weekend. That was because they were in the Jack Mitchell Trophy final. And if you guys remember, I think, I think we got knocked out in the second round of that one. It wasn't the third, first one. I, can't, I don't remember. I don't really remember. Anyway guys, I just realised that that, 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 that probably won't get promotion at, at the end of this episode. Because no, it's going to probably close the gap. Only five points now. Unless we do actually win our next two games, which will take us on to 78 points. And if Scunthorpe is having to lose both their games, uh, then, then that, 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 that'll be 11 point gap, and that means we've got promotion. Or, if Scunthorpe does again, that'll be, that'll be on 69 points, we'll be on 78. That, then that means that um, the game against Peterborough will be the first game next episode. So, guys, it, yeah, if, so if we win both our games against Coventry and um, Doncaster, then that, and if Scunthorpe lose both of them, then that means we will be promoted. But um, I, I suppose we'll, we'll, we'll have to look at Bradford City as well because you know they are very close as well. So guys, so, so basically in conclusion, promotion probably won't be in this episode unless we have some fantastic luck on our side. And you guys home against Coventry City, I mean, that, that game against Washington was poor. Hope in this one, you know, the home crowd, I mean I think in this game in real life, you know, should, should be better to be in, the, in this position in real life. Oh, just, we, just have to, we just have to win. Lovely guys, guys, and a lovely sunny day at the same of lies. Sun in the Vista Comedy City, two, the two, I'll say probably two biggest teams in the league. Even though Comedy City just got more last season. Anyway, guys, let's go. Come on, lads. And Bristol Rovers with Burton Fortman 42. And then, and then yeah, I think it was Charlton 11 for, on 52 points, which is only, which is only 10 points to gap between the 13 teams. And oh, you guys, it's off. We've got Fred Carl, Jack Grimmer. Kind of sounds like Jack Grimmer, you know, what are you, Road fans, you know? I'm be watching. Then I have one leg challenge. Can't be just shoot them over there. Could have broken his leg, I suppose. Maguire on the free kick. What do we? That. Oh, it's the post. Oh, that was so close. It's been a pretty good start so far, guys. As someone mentioned, Jordy Hewell didn't need to play for Manchester City. I mean, didn't. Maguire moved it through. And it's 1-0 to Sunderland, guys. It is Will Gregor's 18th of the season. Lovely in the top right, top left corner. And I, and that's, I'll say, guys, that's why we really deserve because we have been on top in this opener 33 minutes and 49 seconds. Don't know why it'd be so specific there. Anyway, guys, what a start of the game. A quick strike as a replay. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, pretty pretty mistake there. Maguire, that's right, that's right, that's good. Fans, Maguire, just about managed to play through Grigg. He manages to get the goal we want. Sunderland, 34 minutes in. What a sort of lads. How are you? What about the Carl Edwards, though? Could be onto something here. Cut inside. Even a skill there. And that's a lovely finish from Kyle Edwards to put Sunderland 2 0 up. I mean, that's lovely. I mean, that, that was a lovely goal from Edwards. I mean, he kind of. I mean, I mean like his goal. His goal. His goal. His, his contactive goals. And goal scoring spree in the last game. But like, what a goal that is. A lovely bit of skill. That's a really tough um, shot, shot to pull off there. We did a lo lovely little skill there. Just about sneaks in. Could keep it. Almost got it. Yeah, like he just pushed off his fingers. Two or something, guys. Mm, excellent. What a header from Chris Maguire. Oh, Gooch. First time shot. What a goal. <laughs> Three nil something. Then the Gooch gets on in the score. She mean, probably deserves it. Like he's been the t he's, he's, he's absolutely cracking game. The captain. Well then. <laughs> What a goal that was! Little, little, little bit of play, little bit of from Maguire. First time knock on from Will Grigg and there, Lyndon Gooch, and it's yeah, three not something. Lovely to like, and that is three points in the bag, guys. Make sure. Born by Mark Maguire. I've heard the header. Oh, it's gone in! It's four nil. Was that Oviedo? Yeah, it is Oviedo. How the hell is he winning headers? I'm sorry, but he's. It's actually, actually now he's relatively tall, I suppose. You know, it's just about tall players. Though. I mean, don't know how this one in like. Corner from Maguire. Power ended from Oviedo. I mean, like the guy sort of heads into his own net. It's kind of funny, but no, I'll take it. Like actually, look, look at this again. Yeah, <laughs> the, the dude heads into his own net. Or oh, people are lad. It's four 0 Oviedo. I think Oviedo will take that. No, it's no one goal. B Mason, Brandon Mason, you traitor. And that should be full time now, guys. Yep, guys, full time, guys. We make up for that horrible game at Russia by thumping Coventry 4 0. Goals from Will Grigg, Lyndon Good, Kyle Edwards, and 
I, I, I mean, like, I want to give the Brown a beard because I mean, like, I would say that was probably was his goal, just very lucky from him. But technically, it was an own goal by Brandon Mason. Well, well, it might, well, it might not be Brandon, it'll just be B Mason. Great goal, man. The match nine point four. I would have given it to, but probably the goose only got eight point one. That's quite surprising. That. Uh, finally, going to I would have given it to then the goose personally. Yeah, not good reason at all. The best rate I think. Is the 6.72 Davies who ended up getting sub subbed off at the end? Anyway, guys, good performance overall. And yeah, next, on, on, right, guys, final game of the episode. We are at home at Doncaster on that be good Friday, won't it? April 19th. And yeah, yeah, guys, this is the league table situation. So, Oxford United won their game in hand, so now, they're just, so now they're back to being one point behind us. If only we'd be in Russia, we would have had a three-point gap right now, which would have been absolutely blissful. And if we won the game against Doncaster and Ox Scunthorpe had dropped point and Scunthorpe had lost, and that, then that means we could have potentially um, get be looking for promotion. I I didn't I this episode, but you know, being all that's not, that's not the case, but I'm not too bothered because it makes it more special for the next episode. Doncaster, I don't know where actually where actually are Doncaster in the league anyway? I haven't seen them. 14, so on the table, I'd say probably safe. And then I actually got, rele I actually got relegated. I mean, like, look how close. I mean, like, guys, I, mean, I, think, I think the gap's sort of wind a little bit, but guys, look how close this relegation battle is. I mean, I suppose the, look, our last 12 games, I mean, like, probably looking at the last, um, like, the top, the top 11, they're probably all safe now, I'd say. But, I mean, like, looking at even Fleet, Fleetwood Town 15, like, if they lose, and everyone below them wins, and they could end up slipping in the relegation zone. Like, look at Tyler. I mean, like, I just realised how that was the game with Rochelle, like, they're actually in the relegation zone. Which, which I'm, I'm kind of annoyed about now, but um, we have the front team who are, who are in the relegation zone, Copper City as well. And um, look at our last remaining games. Portsmouth, we've got them last home game there, 17th. Burton had a horrific season. Look at that. So I've last game, he's in there, 16th. Peterborough, the 9th. Yeah, Peterborough, 9th. Doncaster, 14th. So. We haven't got any, we haven't got the top eight left to play, which such a force it's a nice little laugh that doesn't matter because I think we can beat anyone. Despite the fact that we've picked up nine losses this season. Which is a sick which I think maybe six of those were from the were probably from the opening ten games, maybe. actually no, only open ten games, but I think six of those probably been from the first like fifteen games. But you know, but no, we've we've really like, like stepped up the game and it's been pretty good so and you guys, I, I want to keep time wasting. Obviously, this, this happened a lot. This episode, I apologise, guys. I know, guys, that's last game against Home of Doncaster. Absolutely massive. I mean, like, we could have been getting promotion at the end of this one, but, you know, it wasn't big. Why? Oh, man, Doncaster, what the fuck's that? Oh, I'm sorry about the language, guys, but it's that a wake it. Sorry, guys, but I'm, I have to play my home kit this cause it, because that's just a huge kick clash. Sorry, guys. I know, I know it's weird I'm playing in my wake it at home, but. Their kit is absolutely disgusting. Their, 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 their wake is disgusting. Sorry, Doncaster, Doncaster but your wake is disgusting. It's funny because why, why, because watch playing Doncaster tomorrow night. Anyway, guys, big game here against um Doncaster. Why I, play, I hate playing in the wake in this game. It looks absolutely horrible. Anyway, it's something that's Doncaster. Come on, lads. In Oxford, we do get promoted at the end. Obviously, unless something horrible goes wrong, we'll often say that again. Oh, Marquis put Doncaster in front. The coffin, he's had an absolutely horrendous start of this game. Spill that early shot, thank God. I mean, I can't go off here, was there before because he got the coffin such, such, such an easy shot that just catch He absolutely spills it. And this, and this time, it doesn't go in our favour because once again, it doesn't go well. It goes under his leg. The Marquis is there to get to hit the rebound. One of Doncaster has been an absolutely horrendous start, lads. Come on, man. Sorry to any London people watching. Anyway, guys, that's half time. We're losing 1 0. So it's been absolutely, that, that's just an absolutely dreadful first half. Scores off tonight, they're winning. So they're, so they're going top right now. It's going for a winning. Bradford are winning. Plymouth are drawing. Barnsley are drawing. So, you know, every, so we're the only team in the top six are winning. And we're supposed to be the league leaders. Oh, God. Then second half, come on, lads. It's a real great, that's a nice touch. Let's go. I'm Chris McGuire, go on McGuire. Cut inside. Gooch to Carl Edwards. Shoot! And it's 1 1, guys. It is Carl Edwards once again. Is that the eighth goal of the season? 
I'm probably going to have to check because he's been he's, he's been just banging the goals in since he's arrived in January. What a signing this the lad has been, and he has equalised for Sunderland. Not that not there isn't much about voice this person going. Oh, what the hell is this? That's Edward, that's that's in seventh goal of the season. Okay, I thought it was ninth. Jesus Christ! Anyway, one one. Come on, that. Well, guys, we were very fortunate to get a point there. One one. We got to battle by Doncaster, and that's definitely a game to forget for me. Absolutely, that game was absolutely just terrible. Look at that man. Absolutely terrible. Generally, after the Oxford, the ones now they're top, scoring for one as well. Bradford won, Barnsley drew, and Plymouth lost. But guys, that is going to be the end of the, of the episode. Scoring for now in this promotion race because of that draw. So you put, I mean, once again, it's actually you put from most Oxford now top. Guys, in the next episode, which will be the final episode of the season one, we have got Peterborough away, Portsmouth at home, and South End away. Hope, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please just smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new because I'm a good, and you'll never miss an episode. Thank, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next.